Good day, I'm Ben Seymour of Kudzu Patch Productions, and I'm going to bring you uh, another little tune today on an instrument that uh, I just redid some repairs on. Uh, anyhow, uh, this is called Opus 68, built in 1968 by a reverend at an Episcopal church, or so it says on the inside. has some Latin in there, too, that's handwritten. Can't quite make out what it is because uh, the handwriting's not real clear. But uh, anyhow, uh, this is it, and uh, it needed a new fretboard on it, not because of intonation. Intonation on this one was really quite good, uh, but it had some other problems with the, the whole fretboard pulling up and stuff from the end. So I've re-glued all that and repaired all that and put a brand new fretboard on it. Curious thing about this one was it did have a six and a half fret, uh, which probably wasn't very common in 1968. Uh, and another curious thing is it only goes to the 11th fret. So you really can't play anything in a second octave there. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's kind of limited as to what you can do. It's like, you, like I said, you know, 11th fret and it ends. So, uh, you know, it just can't get up there. But uh, anyhow, uh, I have it tuned DAA. And I uh, thought I'd bring you a little tune today. Uh, wooden tuners on it and... Uh, Hand carved part sound holes, things like that. So, but uh, I'll bring you a little tune today. Here's here's a little old tune called Sugar Hill. There we go, a little bit of Sugar Hill on the Opus 68 from 1968. Um, and a pretty little instrument made all of walnut. Um, like I said, wooden tuners and everything like that. So they had to be, uh, had to put in new tuners and refit those a little bit and some stuff. But uh, other than that, nice little box. So, oh well, if you have any repairs that you need done, or if you have any custom instruments that you'd like built, feel free to contact us, and you can always find us at www.kudzupatch.net. Thanks for listening, and see you again soon. Bye-bye.